Well, another year goes by. So I'm just wondering, how was your last year? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it in between somewhere? How was your last year? I remember go remember. Now I remember a year ago we were saying that we hope that 2021 is a better year than 2020. Now we're saying the same thing. We hope year 2022 is going to be better than 2021. Ah, uh, 2020 was not so good. 2021 was not so good. Let's hope 2022 is a lot better. So let's hear from you. Put your comments below on what you think 2022 is going to be like. I think, from my personal opinion, much the same as 2021. Uh, things are... It, it just seems to me like uh, the governments, like... Uh, I don't know if they get together and talk about it or what, but it seems like they're training us to be like they want us to be. They say something and we jump. Uh, they Well, they say jump and we say, how high? So I, I, I don't know. I, I, it just feels like to me, like we're being trained on, on, uh, on the way that they think we should be uh, doing things. Now, there's a lot of things that have really changed drastically as far as uh, like work how how things are done at work uh, most not most but there is a lot of things that are done from the home now <clears throat> excuse me a lot of things are done from the home uh, at, instead of going out we're wearing masks wherever we go like, how long is this going to go on? Uh, things, things seem to be getting better, and then they get a little worse, and then they get a little better, and then they get worse again. So, I don't know how, how things are going to turn out. All the festive season was just like, you can't do this, you can't do that. Um, you can't have a lot of family and friends over. Uh, it's just It's just horrible. Uh, in that respect now I'm unemployed I don't work so I don't know what that's like for all you people that work a lot of people have lost their jobs because of this um, the shipping for goods around the world is changing so it's the, it's the way businesses are going to uh, deal with uh, deal with their their way of, of doing business in the future like I have no predictions because we'll just have to wait day by day and see what happens so make your comments below on what you think next year is going to be like uh, it's gonna start off on January the 1st the same so we'll have to just see like in progress hopefully hopefully the summer the spring and the summer and things will lighten up now I've been sort of stuck here in not that I am stuck here but I came to Vancouver for the winter and um, now that I am here I'm sort of stuck here I can't go back to Alberta yet well I, I don't really want to I don't think the, the highways are that great right now to get through anyway there there was flooding uh, in the in the Abbotsford area uh, I think they're getting that all sorted out now. Right now, it's very, very cold here. It hasn't been this cold, I, from my understanding. hasn't been this cold here for many, many years. Like minus, uh, what was it, minus 17, a couple times, minus 13. And that's very, very cold for Vancouver. Now, on the prairies, they're getting like minus 35, minus 40, uh, which is extremely cold. And then it lasts for like a long time, weeks. 
sometimes like a couple of weeks. It's been uh, just about a week now already here. So, and I've got a diesel heater. It's not running all the time. It warms up. Today's a nice sunny day again. Uh, it seems like when the sun is is out, it's it's even colder. It doesn't heat anything up. Right now, it's well, I don't know if my thing's working properly. It's only minus two degrees outside, and it's 19.9 degrees Celsius inside here. I've got the diesel heater running at the moment. Uh, sometimes I let it run for hours, um, keep nice and nice and toasty in here. So that's that's what's uh, happening with my heat. When I do some cooking on the stove. I make I baked some bread in my uh, stovetop pressure cooker uh, that kept it nice and warm in here for a while I've got another one more loaf to do I've made uh, with my new Dutch oven I've made a uh, stew a beef stew uh, supper last night it was, it was gorgeous and uh, I'll have the rest of it probably tonight it's a 2.7 2.8 uh, quart uh, liter or quartz I can't remember what it is hang on I'll go have a look it's a 2.8 liter um, Dutch oven that I've made um, beef stew in the other night and I added some more flour to it to make it thicker at the time when I was cooking it, not realizing that when it sits there for a while, it'll get thick. So when I got up this morning, I checked it, and yeah, it's pretty thick. So I have to thin it down a bit. Um, you have to you have to uh, scoop out chunks of it. <laughs> so I'll have to make it uh, a little thinner. So anyways, the, the year. Um, it started off January last year was the same as the the year before uh when it's cooler the 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 flu season is uh, that's when it likes it when it's cooler um because i'm living in a van and i don't work i didn't uh, you know the, the the virus wasn't so prevalent to me um the only part that i realize is when you can't go certain places you have to wear masks uh, that makes it makes it um, feel like yes there's something going on other than that I didn't experience too much other than that so last and then in April I went back to Alberta and then all summer I toured around uh, little towns ghost towns and things and uh, videoing uh, different places that I went um, it didn't seem too bad at all, really, at, at, for the summertime. It did get hot. Now, in my van here, uh, I can deal with uh, the cold. It's harder for me to deal with the heat than it is with the cold. Uh, when it gets cold, I can put more clothes on. My, um, I have a sleeping bag. I don't zip it up and slip inside. I just have it as a cover over top of me, and it's good to minus 30 degrees, so I don't feel cold at all once I'm under the covers. It feels nice, and I don't put my heater on during the night. I put it on just before while while I'm reading, um, uh, reading a few uh, verses in the Bible uh, before I go to bed, reading the Word of God, and um, then I turn it off. Uh, I have a key fob which I, I press off and then I lay there and I go to sleep now I like it a little cooler when I sleep anyways I don't feel cold at all when I'm sleeping and then in the morning uh, just before I get up my phone uh, my phone's off all night but it comes on by itself at 730 I've got it set for 730 in the morning so it goes beep then I know it's just about time to get up and I turn the heater on with the key fob and get it nice and warm in here so I can get up so that's uh, dealing with the cold and uh, dealing with the heat is uh, is um, not good 
you can only take so much off you can sit here in the nude but that's about it you can't take any more off you can have all the fans on you can have the windows open you can be sitting in the shade uh, if there's a little breeze you want to go where the breeze is um, but if it's like even with all that open and on and the fans on and everything going when it's like 40 45 degrees outside it's uh, a few degrees warmer inside believe it or not so you just try to keep cool the best you can so summers are very very hard to deal with as far as heat goes um, then come the fall I was still in Alberta and I came to Vancouver in the end of October the very beginning of November and then there was the flood that went through uh, Abbotsford area there uh, about a week or two after I got here so I just went through there just in time I guess the, 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 the ground was pretty saturated I suppose that's why everything gave way and the, all the highways and uh, were, were uh, taken out so there was no traffic going through um, and I think they've got that worked out they're getting the highways back to condition where you can at least uh, travel but I don't really want to travel through the mountains in the winter anyway so we'll wait till April um, before I go back again now it is uh, near it's just it's December 29th today just about the end of uh, this year and the next year starts next week so I have I applied for my new um, passport my other one ran out like years ago now so I had to apply for a whole new setup and the reason my I'm applying for a passport is because I have an implant I've got two implants down here one of them not the implant is loose but the crown on top of the implant is loose not very much just just enough to wiggle ever so slightly but um, dentistry in Canada in especially in Alberta is the worst because there's no cap on uh, Alberta the, what they can charge so they all get together and say okay we're gonna charge this much money for crowns this much money for whatever have you whereas BC uh, and Saskatchewan and I don't know about other provinces but BC and Saskatchewan have a cap on how much they can charge and it's still pretty expensive so when they told me I needed to get that crown fixed so they're gonna have to maybe take it off and destroy it and put a new crown on and then I have a slight cavity uh, which will get worse between I have all my teeth but they're all crowned except for two two of my teeth in the back top are not touched at all and I have a cavity between one of those and the one that's next to it that has a crown on it so the dentist in Alberta he said we're gonna have to take that crown off and you're gonna need a new crown there now a crown in Alberta costs 13 uh, 1300 dollars so that's two crowns two thousand six hundred dollars just for two crowns then there's to fix the um, cavity and then have them look at and do whatever else they need to need to have done uh, to make it make everything good again so that's you know three three thousand uh, maybe maybe four thousand uh, dollars of dentist work now for four thousand dollars three thousand dollars I can fly to um, Mexico have my teeth done and pay for the hotel room well I don't I'm not even gonna have to pay for my hotel room the last time I was there uh, the dentist she owns an apartment that she rents out to uh, patients that have like a lot of work done to their teeth and I know her really well and she offered f for me to stay in her apartment for free um, so all I have to do is pay for my flight uh, there and back and I think I can get a flight from Vancouver to Cancun where I'm going to go uh, one way there ticket and a one-way ticket back sometimes as cheap as two hundred dollars each way so even if that's three or four hundred dollars uh, each way that's less than a thousand dollars there uh, to fix my teeth 
I don't have to I just have to eat uh, it's gonna be less than the money I would have to get my teeth fixed here so uh, that's why I'm, I'm getting my uh, passport uh, to head back to uh, Mexico to get my, my teeth fixed and now I have to wait for five weeks um, and they said uh, January 20th is 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 a date I can look forward forward to um, them phoning me and getting uh, see if they accept it now your passport has to be exactly like you you all know when you get the passport you have to take your glasses off and no smiling uh, I don't know how they determine it's you I look different with, with no glasses on but not only that my driver's license because I live in my van and I don't have a house address I just have a post office box on my driver's license they don't like that they don't like a post office box a address on your dry on the the passport uh, Canada services um, so they thought they might let that one slip and that's okay but not only that my name on my driver's license is Wayne J Semft on my birth certificate it's Wayne Jacob Semft that's not good either they like them to both be exactly the same so while I was there at Services Canada she called directly to the passport office and asked them if this would pass and that would pass and they said well just put it through we'll look at it and we'll see and um, they might determine whether yes they'll let it pass or no they won't so I asked well I've, I, I paid it's hundred and twenty dollars for a five-year passport or hundred and sixty dollars for a ten-year passport and I paid for the ten-year passport hundred and sixty dollars and I said well what happens if they refuse me do I get my a refund and she said well I don't know about that uh, we'll just have to wait till they call so they might even say well there's no there is no refund so I don't know what's gonna happen there anyways and it's another four weeks or another three weeks three and a half weeks till I find out I'm waiting for a phone call actually so that they can tell me what their decision was on that so that's what's coming up in 2022 is hopefully a trip to Mexico to get my teeth fixed and the rest of this year was uh, when I came here in November it's uh, like I said end of December now so that's a couple of months here and it's really cold and they're still wearing of the masks and uh, new new variants coming out so things are just seem to be getting worse like is this all true or uh, uh, we all know that there's something going on there is a real virus and it's killing people but um, my goodness it's just horrendous for this is going on going on three years coming up here ne in the early next next year here um, I've never seen a, anything like that in my life this is the first time I've ever seen anything like that in my life so whether you get the, uh, the the flu shot or not that's totally up to you if you oh ding if you look at different statistics it all depends on where you go to look at these things is it really true what they're telling you even if it's from the top um, the top people that are studying this like you don't know whether to believe them or not there are they just giving you numbers um, is it as bad as they really say it is um, I would think that if you if you do get the flu shot you that doesn't mean that you're not going to get it it just like the flu comes along here's a here's a little flu coming along and you're sitting beside someone that's not vaccinated do you think that little virus cares does it know the difference of course not so but if you do have the flu shot at least you'll be um, probably less severe symptoms um, yes it can still do you know it can still hurt you a lot 
but you'll probably be less uh, less severe symptoms. Now, if you're not vaccinated, you might just feel like you've got a sniffly nose and what have you too, but <laughs> you have more of a chance of being severely uh, a severe reaction to it. So anyways, the year 2021 was any different than 2020? Not for me. Was it any worse, any better? In certain places it was worse. In certain uh, instances it wasn't. Is 2022 going to be any better? Well, I can't answer that, of course. Uh, We have to wait and see. And there again, it all depends on what the government tells you. Uh, You have to stay in. You have to do this. Uh, Like... When you go to some place that you, you they, they say you need to be double vaccinated to get in. So you go in, you sit down, you eat, you take your, your mask off. You can be still infected. Like, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. If an unvaccinated person gets gets something, they will probably know it. So they're not going to go to these places. So, I mean, anyways, stopping people from going into into places unless you're vaccinated is totally useless. But what are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. And it's got to the point where it's neighbor squeal on neighbor. If your neighbor has too many people uh, gathering, then it's your neighbors that say that phone the authorities and say, "Hey, they got too many people over there." Like it's it's uh, you're squealing on your on your friends or your on your friends and neighbors. Not good. And it seems like everyone has full authority. They, they know exactly what's going on. You go to a fast food restaurant like uh, McDonald's, uh, Tim Hortons, a, a, any of these, and the staff behind that. Oh, you're not wearing a mask. You better put a mask on. And their their authority, like, um, it seems like they think they have lots of power. So uh, I don't know what it's doing to society. Anyways, this was supposed to be about how did your your last year turn out? How how was it for you? And um, like I said, in the comments below, let me know what you think and because the virus was a big thing of the year that's that's why um, that is sort of a a subtopic of today but um, hopefully I'll put this video up tomorrow or on a Saturday I might put it up on a Saturday and have it up on Saturday which would be the first January the first we'll put it up as a premiere so we can sit back and we can take your comments and we can see sort of live what your what your thoughts are for the year how was your Christmas how was your uh, birthday last year and how is how was your new year Um, this Christmas I was invited out for uh, supper, a dinner, whatever you call it. Uh, if you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or uh, breakfast, dinner, and supper, it all depends on where you're from and, and what you what you use. I was invited out. We had a great meal. We had turkey. We had ham. Oh my goodness! There was so much food, um, and I don't get to eat like that too often. So I uh, <laughs> I think I stuffed myself. Um, it was a great meal. It was um, just out of town, out of Vancouver, a little ways, out at a place called Mission. Drove out there and we had a good time. Uh, enjoyed the kids uh, opening their gifts. Um, it's, uh, it's. I remember when I was a kid like that too. They, they'd have a, a nice present. They'd tear off the, off the wrapping and they'd look at it and they'd say, Oh, it's something I've always wanted. And then they set it aside. <laughs> they got another gift they got to unwrap. And uh, when they had all the gifts unwrapped, 
I remember the youngest one, we were bouncing a balloon around the room, back and forth and back and forth. That's what we played with. N none of the toys that he got for Christmas. It was uh, a balloon, a simple balloon. Um, something simple. So, whoops, we have noise. We have uh, vehicles out here making heavy noise. Anyways, guys, it was not such a great year because of the virus. Oh, that's that's the one main thing. But other than that, I guess the year wasn't really too bad in some situations. Next year, let's hope for the best where I can travel. I'd like to go across Canada again <clears throat> from end to end. And if we get uh, free movement back and forth, that would be great. Oh, would love it. I want to see my own country here. Uh, it's a little bit hard to do in the winter because Canada gets a lot of snow and, you know, severe cold in the winter. So you got to have it where it's spring, summer, fall. Good times to travel then. All right, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, give me your thoughts and uh, I guess that's all we'll catch you guys all next year be kind be awesome and stay nomadic outlaws and we'll catch you guys all on the next one <laughs>